When cardiac arrest happens, the clock starts ticking and every single second counts. Well, Peel Regional Paramedics are one of the first emergency services in the province investing in state-of-the-art technology. The hope is that drones will one day be able to deliver these life-saving devices to a scene, potentially feeding an ambulance. The reality is this is the future and we're merging medical science with current technologies to improve outcomes. Each year, 40,000 Canadians will suffer from cardiac arrest and without immediate CPR, followed by a defibrillator, about 90% will not survive. Shock advised. The average response time here in Peel Region is about six minutes, and the hope is that these drones will be able to deliver an AED in half that time. You think of somebody way out in the middle of a field somewhere, trucks can't get there quickly. Um, perhaps this device through a drone can get to the patient much, much quicker and help guide the bystander through the processes to keep that person uh, alive until we can get there. Just imagine having strategically placed drones connected to 911 dispatch ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. What's cutting edge about this technology is that the drones would be flown beyond visual line of sight, meaning the aircraft would be controlled by instruments from a pilot station instead of a simple remote control. I heard that they fly as, as a small plane would, so in certain weather conditions, certain cloud conditions they might not be able to take off. So this is all stuff that needs this to be This is all the things that we need to look at and work through. So that's why it's a longer period of time, because you need to look at the weather conditions and see how well can it work in a winter condition, a rainy condition like today's weather, uh, fog, um, clouds. So all of this has to be worked through to see how efficient the model can uh, work and perform for us. You want to stand back? Press flashing shock button. Push the button. Shock delivered. Right now, you can find defibrillators in most public buildings in the GTA. The Heart and Stroke Foundation says it's still not enough, and they are hoping other emergency services are keeping an eye on Peel Paramedics. The point is getting AEDs onto people before EMS and the paramedics arrive is one of the most critical factors in ensuring success and, and, and a life saved. That's a great, great tool, and I hope that people really look forward to what they're doing and learn from, from their implementation. Now, the chief tells me that testing on this drone delivery could begin in the next 12 to 18 months and that Caledon could become the very first testing grounds.